Here the tides flow, and here they ebb, not with that dull, unsinewed tread of waters held under bonds to move around unpeopled shores, moon-driven through a timeless circuit of invasion and retreat, but with a lusty stroke of life pounding at stubborn gates that they might run within the sluices of men's hearts, leap under throb of pulse and nerve, and teach the sea's strong voice to learn the harmonies of new floods, the peal of cataract and the soft wash of currents against resilient banks, or the broken rhythms from old chords along dark passages that once were pathways of authentic fires. Red is the sea kelp on the beach, red as the heart's blood, nor is there power in tide or sun to bleach its stain. It lies there piled thick above the gulch line. It is rooted in the joints of rocks. It is tangled around a spar. It covers a broken rudder. It is red as the heart's blood and salt as tears. Here the winds blow and here they die, not with that wild exotic rage that vainly sweeps untrodden shores, but with familiar breath, holding a partnership with life, resonant with the hopes of spring, pungent with the airs of harvest. They call with the silver fifes of the sea, they breathe with the lungs of men, they are one with the tides of the sea, they are one with the tides of the heart. They blow with the rising octaves of dawn. They die with the largo of dusk. Their hands are full to the overflow. In their right is the bread of life. In their left are the waters of death. Scattered on boom and rudder and weed are tangles of shells, some with backs of crusted bronze and faces of porcelain blue. Some crushed by the beach stones to chips of jade. And some are spiral clefts, spreading their tracery on the sand in the rich veining of an agate's heart. And others remain unscarred to babble of the passing of the winds. Here the crags meet with winds and tides, not with that blind interchange of blow for blow that spills the thunder of insentiencies, but with the mind that reads a salt in crouch and leap and the quick stealth stiffening the muscles of the waves. Here they flank the harbors keeping watch on thresholds, altars, and the fires of home, or like mastiffs overzealous guard too well. Tide and wind and crag, seaweed and seashell and broken rudder, and the story is told of human veins and pulses, of eternal pathways of fire, of dreams that survive the night, of doors held ajar in storms.